Now, I want to get on to Obama um, criticizing Fox News. The story just doesn't die. Yesterday, it rose again on ABC. Roll the tape. I've always been struck by how, um, and it's not too strong a word, how obsessed the president of the White House are with Fox News. Well, it's, it's the discordant note in an otherwise harmonious chorus, <laughs> I suppose. That's why. <laughs> All right. Now, you covered a lot of presidents. Is President Obama handling Fox News, which is, to be honest, the most skeptical news organization on television of him, as you heard George Will say, and, and pretty much everybody knows, the other networks uh, either are very approving of him or actually promote him. So is Obama handling the dissent that he finds in some quarters on this network any differently than other presidents handle dissent? Well, we've, Bill, it's hard to say because we've never had a situation quite like this one. We've never had an administration, I mean, all administrations get a honeymoon up to a certain point. Bill Clinton had a very brief one because of, there were a number of stumbles in the early going. But there is a certain period of a, a honeymoon period when, when critics lay off. When a president is as activist as this one has been this early, in times like these, the honeymoon tends to end pretty quickly. Well, it's still going on and it's likely to continue for some time. And as you heard uh, George Will point out in that clip you played, uh, we are the only discordant note, which is not to say that I agree that with his absurd no, assertion no. last week that, but that we're all, tougher all on he ever Obama. gets his criticism. We are clearly tougher on him than any of the other networks. Everybody there's, knows there's that, and our ratings reflect that as we grow no in power and the others go decline. But, but, that, but Obama is now, by, by bringing attention to us in a very public way, he actually helps Fox News. Well, I, it certainly doesn't hurt us. It may be useful to him in that it gives him a fig leaf against the idea that this is a president who is riding this wave of media adoration and approval uh, and that he's not being appropriately challenged. That may be useful to him in some way. But I'm, I'm bound to say this, Bill. If, if he's really as sensitive about this and as obsessed as, as George Stephanopoulos suggests, he better get over it because this honeymoon that he's having and this treatment from the media is not going to last forever. It never does with the president. And if he doesn't like what he's getting from us amid all the rest of this, he's really going to hate it later on. All right. Brit Hume, everybody. Thanks, Brit, as always.